Hello, so today we're going to be looking at some extensions that I made for the Corgi engine for Unity for a client. Um, and if you don't know what the Corgi engine is, the Corgi engine is basically a 2D platforming solution for Unity. It's probably the best one out there. No, this is not an advertisement for it, but um, if you haven't checked that out, I suggest that you do. But essentially, it's very extendable, very customizable. And so for this client, um, he wanted me to create a homing missile and a boomerang uh, weapon for his game. So that's what I did. So this is how it works. So the homing missile, um, if I shoot it, it will home in on that target up there. Just shoot below it real quick. Should home in. There you go. Um, and you can adjust the rotation speed and all that stuff. And I'll show you that in a moment. But it should home in on this one too. There you go. Um, and then the second weapon was a boomerang. Boomerang um, basically works like a boomerang. You shoot it and it comes right back to you. Um, comes right back to the player. So let's look at how the homing missile works first. The homing whistle is just a, an extension of the base projectile script. And I just added a few um, variables that allow the game designer to kind of do whatever they want with it. The first variable is just an array of strings called items to home in on. And basically what this does is, you see I have enemies here. It searches the scene for um, items that are tagged with whatever string you put into this array. And then that means that the homing missile knows that it's supposed to home in on those things. Um, the search distance is exactly what it sounds like. It searches um, a radius around the homing missile up to a certain distance. So like if I put five, for example, it'll search five uh, units around. If I put, if I lower that um, to three, it'll search for three units around, etc. cetera. Um, momentum is an interesting one. So basically what that means is um, it's the amount of time that the homing missile will take before changing trajectory and starting to search for the enemy or whatever the object that it's supposed to be homing in on. And then rotation speed is just um, how fast the um, homing missile will rotate to see the uh, the item that it's homing in on. For the boomerang, um, I actually had to do two extensions. So I had to extend the weapon aim script. So this is the weapon aim extension script that I created. Um, and that has um, just one extra uh, parameter. It's just a bool value that says uh, it's called ignore directional aiming. And the reason for that is because one of the parameters, one of the requirements for the boomerang was that it only moves on the x-axis. And so I had to make it so that uh, holding up or down would just be ignored and the boomerang would not be um, able to be thrown on, um, on the y-axis at all. And then, so this is the boomerang weapon itself. The boomerang projectile um, is separate. So it's its own object. It's a projectile object that's going to be uh, pulled just like any other, um, any other bullet, like the homing missile, for example. And it is also an extension of the base projectile script, but it has its own uh, values here. So the main ones here that are added here are travel distance, and that just determines how far the boomerang will go. And um, you know, if it's if it's higher, it'll go further before turning back around, and if it's lower, it'll go less um, units before turning back around. And then follows player until caught. Um, so this I'm actually going to demo really quick because follows player until caught um, actually means that. So, like for example, if I throw it and I jump over it, it'll keep following me until until I get, catch it. But if I uncheck this. Uncheck follows player until caught. And I jump over it, it'll keep going to the opposite direction until it's gone. And the boomerang is a magazine based weapon. So that's just to prevent um, the player from being able to throw multiple boomerangs. And you have to catch it in order to, um, to replenish your boomerang. So that's how that, that works. And then is primary weapon. This um, is for the option to use the boomerang as a secondary weapon. So if you look on the rect rect rectangle um, prefab here, there's a character handle secondary weapon and a char character handle weapon script. So 
depending on where you want to use your boomerang, if you want it to be a secondary weapon, um, you're going to have to uncheck this. And then if you want it to be a primary weapon, you're going to have to check it. Otherwise, the detection will not work when um, throwing the boomerang and catching it. But that's basically it. That's the uh, that's how it worked. And uh, the client was pretty happy with it. Let me know if you have any other questions uh, about Corgi Engine or just about extending any scripts. Um, and I guess I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.